Good afternoon. It's the Iron Body. Out here in nature. Good evening. Good afternoon. Whatever it is to you. As we watch the news. All relevant facts going on within society today. Shipping. Fucked. Food. Transportation. Exports, imports, credit, stock market, crypto, random factories going up, burning. Even our own leaders in the bed with the enemy. I mean, that's what it seems like. I could look at the wife of Miss McConnell. I could look at what Nancy Pelosi frequents. Frisco. I could look at all of them. I can even look at the things that are surrounding America. It's a sad day. When our own leadership has sold out. And they have. There is no question. All of them are what you call paid prostitutes. They are nothing more than those who will sell everything. For a couple of dollar bills, y'all. They'll never have no loyalty outside of what them dollars do. And that's the problem with the vast majority of the things that's happening right now in this country. The love of the money. The money of the children. The money over the planet. The money over your families, over your marriages. This is the fans only generation. This is it. I'm sorry. You got to call it how it is. So, since everything is apparently going to hell since everything jammed up what are your local federal municipalities prepping for are they prepping for the summer I mean we all can see it coming. Outside interest. All up. Expanding the cost. For typical Americans. You've been. Priced out to rent. Priced out to food. Priced out to gas. Is your local authorities doing anything to prep for it? Are they making any safeguards for the elderly outside of, um, we're, we got our cooling centers you can come to, but people ain't got gas. Are you doing anything for the coming food shortages? You are paid to handle these issues. That is your role. Once you take these offices, you don't get to just be like, I, 
I'm going to sell out to the uh, number one highest bidder. See, the problem is, y'all think it ain't no accountability. Outside of, up, uh, I lose my job, maybe get voted out, which nine times out of ten, once you get in, you in. Because you're linked in, and you're linked into the money train. And such is the sickness that exists. In a sad state of affairs when your average politician, sheriff, state representatives, fucking states, fucking federal government ain't doing no kind of preparation for the slaughter to come. You have to be a dumb individual to not see what's coming. Going to a Walmart, going to any big box store. Not only are your stores disappearing, but they even padding the shelves. Shrinkflation. Hell, the dollar store is the 125 store. And if you don't know what that means, that means your dollar is worth 75 cents currently. Well, technically about 65 cents once she went blue, once you, once you add gas on to it. And what is Joe Biden doing today? He getting caught up. Up a son. Daddy loves you. Yo, hey, hey, Joseph. That is Joe. Golden child, isn't he? Joseph. Joseph. That's your golden. Your number one, huh? I heard the way you talk to him. Hey, son. I love you. You don't have to call daddy back. I, was just, I, I took care of it for you, son. Nancy. Yes, don't worry. It'll be okay, husband. I took care of it for you. Now, how many people, Nancy, has your state prosecuted? Do you know how many women the arm body knew? Can you drive me home, arm body? I got the <sighs> blow to start my car, homie. Do you know how many senoritas in the old town? Uh, buddy, can you blow in my little, uh, to get my car started, baby? They are two-faced charlatans. How many, boy, Mr. President Joseph? How many men did you get prosecuted, did you prosecute, or got prosecuted for the same thing? You cleared your son up for some racketeering type shit? Men like you think you above the law. Why? Because you won a fucking popularity contest? Cause you got the most amount of morons Cause you paid The most amount of Uh Tricks You still are a representative For a district For a state And the problem is Enough people ain't went up to your ass and was like Hey or gentlemen but I look at it at the point where you guys are causing the loss of life hard times why shouldn't it be hard on you 
Why don't you deserve some stick? The rest of us getting the stick. How many grannies died last year? Joseph. Mr. Trump. Mr. Fauci. You politicians. Act like it ain't real cost to the biz, the bad business you do. How many people are homeless, Nancy, because of your bad running? Kamala. Y'all all on the damn TV. But at the end of the day, the iron body just says, hey, look at what they have pooped out. It's all in the results. And America, y'all going to consistently keep these trash in office? It's stupid. People who ain't preparing. You in no kind of way going to let your city, your loved ones, fall in the chaos, darkness. I mean, the iron body will be fine. There, there's times that the iron body will revel in. War. I'll be just fine. Believe me. In times like that, a man like me will do great things. But don't think your little rat holes, your jets, your yachts, your secret farms, is going to be enough to save you. You rats don't get to shit in the damn ship. Leave plague, fuck the place up, then just walk away. They tell me I'm going to space. Uh, I got me a big boy farm. And why they finna leave you homeless on the streets with no food? Americans are so stupid, so unaware of the world and the things that's going on around them. People, take a good look. It's your bank account. Your lights, they already warning you. We are cutting off the lights this summer. It's going to be blackouts. It's going to be food shortages. But people just hum dry, skipping through the day like nothing's wrong. Think about that. The warning signs are all around you. No flights are moving. No ships are moving. Supplies have been limited. We had to get milk from the UN. The roller coaster ride has went up high and it's oh, hitting that stroke. And we're about to crash. Think about it. When the gas cut off, lights off, no food, and the world is set up, this is set up to happen. Right now, tonight, it could happen. Oh, some crazed individual, some organization, some uh, global whatever, take out a couple substations. Drop a couple of hack viruses. The food supply is already jacked. And yo, leaders are mere managers who are yes men to high powers. As a matter of fact, no organization you have paid for the last year has really done shit. They have it. There's nothing but waste. Abuse. We paid Mr. Joseph for all that infrastructure spending. Why the hell I got a bent rim? How many flat tires? 
Now instead of fixing the roads, they just put bumps on them. Instead of making sure our babies had milk, they want to send rocket launchers to a puppet in Ukraine. Instead of making sure it ain't no homeless people on American streets that we ain't got zombies in Philadelphia on the damn side of the street. So it ain't the damn plague running through. Even Fauci, 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 whatever your Fauci, Fauci, whatever your name is, boy. Plague doctor. Even you caught the COVID last week, boy. But people, y'all might want to think about starting some community go ops. Since apparently, your local bureaucrats are too busy, you might want to think about some local farming, some local chickens. I know you all love hamburgers. They have even destroyed the meat supply. They did not. See, most of you Americans don't look at the news. You might have heard about one cattle farm. But oh no, oh no, the iron body looks at the news everywhere. And it's plenty. As a matter of fact, most farmers are what you call curling their crops. You got full trucking companies going out of business. Trucks up for sale because the price of gas is too high. America. I know everybody is in what they call complicity. You in complacent thinking, you reacting slow. But you might want to think about it. Before they start it, I keep on telling you. You might want to think about it. And this for all over. Not just here. UK, Australia. I mean, the first world is slowly turning into the third world. I mean, I grew up in big uh, Juice America. J's for everybody. 1995, uh, Bull, Sam Duncan, Opulence, Golden Rings. Now I'm in uh, Broke Boy America. What are some uh champs? Not to knock champs. They've came up recently, but nevertheless. We ain't the 95 Bulls anymore. Who are we? We looking like some suckers. It ain't a black thing, it ain't a white thing. Uh like do something. I mean, I'm the iron body. Of course, I can go in. Ugh. Like an assassin. I might get a couple of, you know, big boy trophies. But they can only go so far. I mean, they out for blood. They don't mind taking a life. They don't. Sorry. They have given no cares, truly, about if you live or if you die. They have gave no kind of empathic thought of, ah, when I'm doing this, this is going to cause someone's grandmother to die. When I'm doing this, this is going to cause a marriage to break up and some guy's going to blow his fucking heads off.
This is going to cause some mother to have to overwork. And her child gets uh, some horrible. Don't nobody account for the consequences. They get their paycheck though. But they have zero accountability. But every month they get paid. Every month, years on years, they see paychecks, but nothing. And then turn around and blame the very same people who they put in a bad situation to fail. I'm going to give you an example. A city gives a big company kickbacks to move in, set up shop, whether it's a team, whatever. They take all the kickback money, destroy industry of another local producer, which employ more jobs, which had guaranteed insurance to a contracting company who offer no real benefits or kickbacks and you also net jo net loss of jobs too like at the end of the day like they ain't out for your interest your long term health it has turned into a complete money game like a complete and utter everything life your life do you love yourself can you put a dollar on what your life mean to you there ain't a dollar amount ain't nothing that's more important than your life so why do other men get the currency cast your life aside like it's nothing why do other men think they have dominion on whether you eat, you live, where they can come in, kick in your door, treat you the way you want to treat you, and they ain't doing their job? And you accept this? Well, these people have the ability to come in, take your money, take your life. And they can do a shit job with no accountability. And you people sit back eating your Cheetos, looking at your black screen, paying attention to this rubber rouser they got going on January 6th. Yada, yada, this. Trump did this. Uh, Nancy did this. We all know they are corrupt. From the top to the bottom. They have all sold out. There is no protection within this civilization currently for you. Outside of taxation and control. They always talk about them. What, what do you call it? Um, your Declaration of Independence. Your Constitutional this. Constitutional that. But you hold no accountability. That's bull. You. As representatives of your district, your people, your country, your state. Are supposed to be doing the best goddamn job you're supposed to be doing for your constituents. But instead you have sold out to the highest bidder. You have turned around and uh, got on your knees for the highest bidder. You have sold out the many for the few. And you sit on stages with flags 
Airborne babies. Selling out. Making secret phone calls. Bombing countries to hide your dirty muck. Your cesspool. Americans. Ukraine. It's the home of Chernobyl. Did you know that America? Ukraine. It's the place on uh what's that damn show from the movie um what's that uh what's that boy name fucking Vin Diesel Where all the Euro trash I mean I'm not knocking them I mean I understand where they at they are in a messed up environment in in they in a messed up environment anyway but nevertheless I'm not gonna pass judgment on those people. I mean, I'm pretty sure some of them are some cool guys. Look, look, Ukrainians. I know about the hot boy internet. I know about the oops, 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 oops. So I'm not going to read the American media. But I know it's in Ukraine. You just had Giuliani in Ukraine with his hand up. Mr. I'm Zelensky, a soldier. He's a damn actor. A Netflix hand up the booty puppet actor pretending this is the biggest wag the dog I've ever seen. Hiding you in laboratories. Donald Trump. Secret labs. We just having a big weapon sale and a setup for the World War Three or whatever y'all got planned, whatever form of control to keep it up. But American people, prep yourself, think deep. They don't have your best interest, and since y'all are too much of cowards to make your Politicians accountable. Prepare. Since you know they don't have your best interest in heart. Prepare. Since you know when they go black at night. When the chaos start, they ain't gonna answer the phone. Your local city alderman, your local mayor, your local sheriff, your state representative, your governor. Your president, we know that they are vice president and house of the speaker. We know they ain't going to do nothing for you. What are you going to do? Think local, community, band together, make some damn farms, do something resourceful. At least prep something. Don't get caught with your pants down. But this is the iron body saying. Think about it. Please like and subscribe.